Hi everyone, my name is Megan and I'm sorry I couldn't be with you today to do your yoga session, but hopefully that means that you can use these video clips anytime you like just to get a nice little stretch and take time out for a little brain break. All right, without further ado, let me teach you a few of our stretches. All right, so the first thing I want to do is a little warm up. Just follow me. I've got little greatest showman sounds on in the background. So have a little listen, maybe some songs that you know. First thing we're going to do is you're going to sit in your chair nice and tall. See if you can kick one leg out and then kick the other. Ready? A little bit quicker. Kick, lit, sit nice and tall, waking up that lower part of the body. Nice work. If you're standing up, then you can stand and kick and kick. But if you're on your chair in the classroom, kick and kick, and kick, and kick. Well done. Next one, arms come out. Good. I want you to say like your stop. So one hand push, other hand push. One hand push, other hand push. Good, you got it. Hit. And other hand push. We're gonna interlace the fingers and roll those wrists. Interlace the fingers and roll those wrists for three. Deep breath. For two. And one, good work. Hands come on the knees, we lean forward. And back, and forward, and back. Forward, and back, and forward, and back. Good, turn, twist to the left, and hold. Twist to the right, and hold. And left, and right, and left, and hold. And right, and left and right, and hold, good. Back to the middle, lean forward. Back to the middle, lean forward. Back to the middle, lean forward. Well done. Back to center. Twist to the left, and center. And to the right, and center. To the left, to the right, to the left, and hold. To the right, to the left, to the right and hold back to center good bring your hands out like you're driving a motorcycle bring those palms down and lift squeeze it in and up good job squeeze it in and up one more squeeze it in and up and in and up well done hands on the knees good work i'm just going to move back so i've got some space what i want to do is jump up so get ready and jump and down, tap, tap, and jump. And down, tap, tap, and jump. And down, tap, tap, and jump. And down, tap, tap. Ready, quicker if you want. Quicker if you want. Quicker if you want. Quicker if you want. For three, for two, for one, and stop. Well done. We're gonna bring one of our legs. We're gonna lift it up and let that knee drop away. Nice work. Get a little stretch here. We're going to lean forward. And if you want, you can lean and see if you can touch your feet or just let that chin draw down. Love a little stretch for three. Hands wherever you like over. Relaxing two and one. Lifting up, switch sides. Lift, let that knee relax. Maybe lean forward. Maybe bring the hands forward. Good. And lift and down. And lift and down we're gonna hold it for a nice long stretch for three for two well done and for one coming all the way back and bring the feet back in front of you well done we're gonna roll our ankles so lean back in your chair if you like a little roll nice work doesn't matter which sport you start with roll the other direction big circles three deep breath two and one foot down, other side, lovely circles for three. Breathing in for two, for one. Other side, roll the other way. Good work, and slowly bring it down. So bring both feet up and roll both. And roll them both the other direction. And see if you can sit nice and tall, point one toe and flex the other. Hopefully you've got enough space in front of you to do it. If you're on the floor, you don't always have to sit on a chair. You could do all of this on the work, on the floor, on a mat, whatever suits you. Three, on the carpet, and bring the feet down. Well done. We're going to roll our shoulders up and back. Roll your shoulders up and back. 
shoulders up and back, shoulders up and back. This time opposite direction. So we roll the shoulders up and forward and back. Squeeze them up and forward and back. Squeeze them up and forward and back. Squeeze them up and forward and back. Well done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our hands in front of us like you're saying stop. Good, we're gonna open and close those hands so you can turn them so that your palms face each other. We're gonna open and close. Go a little faster. As fast as you can. Love a little stretch in those hands. So if you have a competition, who can do it the fastest for five? Lovely stretch in those hands for four. Ooh, I'm feeling it. For three. Nice work, everyone. For two, open and close. And one, bring the hands together and down on those knees. Good, deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. And exhale. Oh, well done, everybody. Great, so we're gonna use our chair to help us balance and do some of our warrior poses. So what I want to do this time is we're gonna take one leg across. So you're gonna bring it so it's all the way over to the side. Good, and what we wanna do is just face the side and the other leg can come back. We're gonna bring our arms out like we're a surfer. We're gonna lean forward and back. So reach to the front and reach to the back, to the front and back. Good, coming all the way back to center. Knees come in. We're gonna take one leg nice and wide, the other leg back, the arms come up, and forward, and back. Good job, and forward, and back, and forward, and back. And bringing the hands down, bring those knees back in. Well done. We're gonna next to wide-legged pose. So I'm just gonna move back so that you've got more space to see me in the movement. Again, you can do this on the floor. You can use the chair, or if you don't have a chair, you can take all the movement like this and like this, or you can take both knees wide. Otherwise, sit on the chair, both knees wide. This one's called goddess pose. Good, you can do it standing or here. We're gonna drop one shoulder forward, look up. Come back to center like you're dancing, drop that shoulder, look up. Back to center and drop and look and hold. Back to center and drop and look and hold. Back to center, drop and look and hold. Last one, center, drop and look and hold and come all the way back to that middle bit. Well done, whole legs together, arms up, lovely, reach as high as you can, arch that back, good, and slowly bring the palms to touch and bring them back into the center of the body. We're gonna interlace your fingers, take a little roll with those wrists, lovely little stretch, big circles for four. For three, for two, well done, and one. Then we're gonna separate our elbows, but keep your fingers interlaced and push the palms away. Lovely, let's lift it up, maybe look up, and bring it back to the center. Good, and lift up, maybe look up, and back to center. Last one, lift it up, maybe hold, maybe look up. If it feels too much, draw your chin down, get a nice stretch, and slowly bring it forward. Hands face the front and down. Well done, we're gonna take a little side stretch now. We're gonna reach one hand up, relax the shoulders down, and reach towards one side. We're gonna get a lovely little arch, like a little half moon, and back. And reach, and back. A little pulse, reach, and back. Good work, and reach, a little smile for me, and back, hands down. Other side, reach it up, drop your shoulders down. When you're ready, little reach and back, and reach, and back, and reach, and back, and reach, and back, and bring the hand back down. Well done, everyone. Good work. I'm gonna teach you a little tapping exercise, which is really, really helpful if you feel like your mind is racing. So the next thing I want you to do is when you're seat sitting, you can sit tall, relax, however you want. I want you to bring your hands in front of you. We're gonna tap our thumb first with our pointer finger. So we wanna tap our thumb to our pointer finger, thumb to our middle finger, thumb to our ring finger, and then thumb to our pinky. So go back, pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky. See if you can keep it going, pointer, middle finger, ring finger, pinky. Keep going. See if you can really push and feel those fingers. Allow your breath to just feel soft, Feel relaxed, focusing on getting a little quicker, a little quicker, a little quicker, a little quicker for three, 
Don't worry if you lose it for two and one. Good, shake it out. Now the next thing I was gonna teach you is that if you do that little tapping, you can always add a phrase to it. So if you're feeling a little bit crazy, you feel like your thoughts are really busy, you're feeling worried, or if you just feel very, very full of energy and you need to calm down, and you could do this with a phrase. So you could say calm. So being calm begins with me. So we point, point your finger and thumb, calm, or being calm begins with me. 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 Try, point your finger, say being calm begins with me. Tap, tap. Being calm begins with me. Being calm begins with me. Good, keep it going. Begins with me. Tap, 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 and tap. Tap, tap, tap for three. For two, for one. Good job, shake it out. Now you can add whatever phrase that you want. Sometimes you can say, I am feeling calm. Tapping, I am feeling calm. I am feeling calm. Whatever it is that you need, it's a really good one to help you feel relaxed. Even if you're writing um, any sort of mock um, SATS papers, if you're kind of in year five or moving into year six, and you can always do that if you feel a little bit um, nervous or stressed before. So I am feeling calm, I am feeling great. Whatever it is, it might just help you to feel a little bit more relaxed and ready to go. Great, great little tip, something that I actually still do sometimes when I feel like I've got all the crazy thoughts or my body just feels a little bit anxious or worried. Well done, everyone. So that takes us to the next bit of our session. We're gonna go into what I call my favorite, a relaxation. All right, I'm gonna imagine that you're sitting back in your chairs, I want you to just relax. If you're on the floor and you're on a mat or on the carpet, just to begin to close the eyes. That's all you need to do. Begin to relax your shoulders. All right, softening the eyelids, allow everything to relax. I want you to take a nice deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> nice work. From here, I want you to imagine that you are no longer in the classroom, but you are sitting on a really cozy beach chair on the most beautiful, beautiful beach you've ever been to in your entire life. I want you to imagine that you're sad kind of near the shoreline. Your feet feel wet. You can almost feel the heat on the top of the sand, the wetness as you dig your feet in. Nice work. You can hear the sounds of the shore. You're listening to your favorite music and you can just see the most beautiful sunset slowly coming down. So what you're going to notice is that line that meets the water and the sky. You've got all the lovely colors, massive ball of orange and the sky begins to turn peach and light yellow and bright yellow and orange and red and pink. It's like the most beautiful painting you've ever seen in your life. And I want you just to sit there and imagine as you listen to your favorite soundtrack, your favorite music, that nothing else in the world matters. You're just watching this beautiful moment in nature, the sun setting, that beautiful ball of orange gets a little lower and a little lower until it meets that line in the sky and you get a little slice of that circle just starts to come off and now you've got a half of a circle and now that sun's going down and down. The colors in the sky are becoming a little bit softer and the day becomes a little, little darker as if the sky begins to close its eyes, just like you in this moment, relaxing and softening, taking a nice deep breath, breathing in nature. Good, and exhaling. See if you can smell the sea and exhale. 
And in this moment, I just want you to know that if you're ever feeling stressed or anxious, you can always take your mind on holiday. You can always drift off to the most magical secret garden that you can bring your imagination to. You can take yourself off to your favorite room or drift away to the most beautiful, relaxing beach. Anytime, you can definitely just soften into that chair or imagine that you are taking yourself on a magic carpet ride, drifting away into those beautiful spaces, connecting with nature and feeling relaxed and sleepy. I just want you to take a moment, see how you feel, begin to open and close the hands, just letting that little bit of energy go. Good, keep the eyes closed if you can, and bring the palms together to touch and rub those hands, creating a little bit of energy there. Nice work. We're gonna bring our hands over our eyes. Good, push the hands there, feel them, feel the warmth, begin to separate those fingers, and slowly bring them back down in front of you. Nice work, a little neck roll, and take the ear to the shoulder, head back to center, ear to shoulder, Head back to center, draw the chin down. Roll the head to one side, back to center, other side. Good, just a little stretch, take it a little bit more side to side at your own pace and back to center. Great work everyone, shake the hands, shake the shoulders, shake the legs. You've done a really, really great job today. And before we go, I just wanted to share with you a word you might've heard before in yoga. It's the word namaste. And all it really means is you are awesome and I can see that. So it means all the good stuff in me can see all the good stuff in you and you are awesome. So I'm gonna leave you in this video by telling you you are awesome, namaste, and thanks for joining me today on video. I wish you a lovely, lovely week ahead and take care and be safe. Speak soon. Bye everyone.